guys, today we are at Cafe de Flor. This is one of the most, one of the oldest cafes in Paris, and it's known for its hot chocolate with whipped cream, in-house made ice cream. It's like, you put the hot chocolate in, you put the whipped cream in, you mix it in, and then you dip your croissant in it, and it's supposed to be really delicious. So today we're trying it, and I'm so excited. There was a queue outside in line. It wasn't too bad, we only waited for like, maybe 10 minutes max, but you do want to try to get here early because I'm pretty sure it gets pretty busy like in the middle of the day as far as pricing. The whipped cream with the hot chocolate is $11.50 and then the croissant is $3.50. They have some like pretty good food options but it is a little pricey if you guys want to eat dinner like that. But today we're just here for the hot chocolate and then we're gonna dip so let's give it a try. Cafe de Flor. Cafe de Flor. It's a good eight. Eight? Okay. Seven and a half. Eight. Honestly, I would say it was pretty good. I would say like a nine. Um, a lot of I was reading a lot of the reviews and people were saying that it was like really overhyped and like there's better hot chocolate places which we have yet to discover. But I feel like it was really good, honestly. And the croissant was just so good. The croissant was perfect. Definitely worth a visit. I feel like it's probably like a one-time thing though because it came out to thirty dollars for just like four items and that's a little absurd. <laughs> but you know you're paying for the experience, the history, the ambiance, whatever. So it was cool. I definitely say to go if you guys are ever here and it's a cute little photo op area too which is very aesthetic in there so <laughs> we came across this really huge market. It gave like Whole Foods vibes, but just way bigger and bougier and a bunch of bakeries and stuff everywhere. It was so cute. But we bought literally so much stuff to feed like a family of five. So we're sampling a lot of things. I got these. I don't know what they are. I don't know what's in them, but they looked delish. We got some shrimps oh we had to buy this bag because we couldn't hold everything in my tote bag so we had to buy a cooler bag and to top it all off it came out to 120 something euros <laughs> which <laughs> was actually 148 american dollars for all of this um which is pretty expensive because we literally just got samples of stuff so we're definitely gonna be feasting today what? Look at that! It flies! Oh my god! We're gonna need a big appetite because we're gonna be going to the Chateau de Versailles today, which is about an hour away from Paris. But we're gonna grab some lunch first and then we're gonna head over. We have an entry ticket for 3.30. Cheese beef stick. You got the cheese beef stick. Tasters! And then we also got these skewers. Mm. Tastes like beef and cheese. <laughs> but these are good. It's basically pasta, but in like a roll form. I got a poke bowl as well. Oh my god, guys, I haven't had poke in forever. Look at this voluptuousness. It's in the shape of a rose. How sweet. Oh my gosh. Okay, taste test. Cheers. And avocado. Mm. It definitely needs some sauce. It just tastes like what it is, but it's good. And it's fresh.
here. <laughs> Guys, this is like the longest museum I've ever been to. Oh my god. But it's so pretty though. But it's really long. And I'm wearing the wrong shoes 1000 percent so we just finished walking around the palace and it was so so beautiful it took so long it's huge guys like the garden itself we went to the garden before we went into the actual palace and the gardens were huge you honestly could spend like a lot of time in there if you plan accordingly and if you want to like you could just chill in there eat some food have a little picnic they have like a lake you can do like boat rides there's a whole bunch of areas to walk around and you can like sit down in a bunch of places, read a book, whatever you want. Like it's so cute and there's so, so, so cute, but a whole lot of walking. So if you are planning on coming here, please bring walking shoes because I did not bring walking shoes and it wasn't that bad, but definitely bring walking shoes, comfortable shoes, comfortable shoes for sure. We're sitting outside the palace right now, eating the food that we bought from earlier, which was so clutch because my gosh, we were so hungry after this. Eat a little bit, chill a little bit. We've been walking for a long time, so we're gonna be sitting and then probably gonna head back to Paris um, within the next like 30 minutes or so, so. But yeah, honestly, it was. I think it was worth it to see the Palace of Versailles. I don't think I've ever seen the palace in real life. So it was really cool going around, walking through the whole thing, seeing the royalty beds and the paintings and the decorations and everything it was sick it was about i think 35 to 40 euros per person to get into the palace mm -hmm. but the tickets include you could stay however long you want after your time slot starts and then you can either go into the gardens or you can stay and watch the fireworks shows that they have but it's only on the weekends we didn't do the fireworks show but we did do the gardens and i think it was so worth it definitely something you guys should check out if you're ever out here Definitely something to add to your itinerary.